Thus concludes how to use a plasma cutter as a drill press. I feel like doing a whole video just on that trick. That's Did you do any intro on this? Do they know what's happening? Uh, I think so, but let's set it up. So we've been, Steve's been working on this cool table. Oh my God. Looks like a flower. And Anna hasn't seen it yet. Oh program my gosh, she knows it's green, <laughs> but she doesn't know. Hi everybody, welcome back to Lift Art Builds. We got a short one for you this time. Uh, Steve has a personal project that he's working on that's really cool, so tell him about it. Here in town in Roanoke, uh, James Madison Middle School has this amazing uh, program. They have a garden program, and my best friend in life is, is the champion of that program, and, and we're building this for the center of the garden for the kids at the school to be able to bring the harvest over to the central table and work on it together to, to take seeds or, or clean the produce or whatever they need to do. So. Um, she knows I'm building her table, but she doesn't know that the bottom's gonna look like, like this. I've made the base um, to look like a dogwood flower. And Which, you did this before we Yeah, this has been sitting around for a while. You can see it's rusty. I've been waiting for a couple of years to actually finish this project. I've had this parts waiting, but... Um, this half inch steel. This half inch plate I cut with this little plasma cutter right behind me here. This <laughs> little, hyper -therm this little yeah. <laughs> Power Max 30, right? Yeah. Um, you can see all the draws here. <laughs> yeah, right. Move a little slow. Um, so I'm gonna weld these together into a, a base plate. It's real heavy. You know, sit flat on the floor or the ground outside on the gravel. And then this piece is a cast base that's also really Good heavy. <laughs> and it, it's got holes in it, so I'm gonna be able to bolt this to here so I don't have to weld the cast iron, sure. which can be problematic. That's cool. You said you got that from Black Dog? Yeah, Black Dog Salvage Stone is this piece right here. And uh, this is just an old Unknowingly. <laughs> this is just an old reused table here. Everyone's seen tabletops like this. Behind every everyone's grandparents' house. <laughs> yeah, right. On the, I inherited one from my grandpa grandma that's just like this. The program tries to get the kids out into the garden so they're doing real life things with real things out in the outdoors and they get to know the soil and the plants and the weeds and the rabbits that live in there and you know cool. it's, it's a great way to expose the kids to some nature and, and, and some real honest work that has real results. So I love the program and uh, I wanna support it. So I'm doing, we're gonna donate this table and hopefully it'll work for them. It also has to be wheelchair accessible. So this base sits flat on the ground so it doesn't obstruct the wheels. There has to be, there's, a, there's certain amounts of, uh, you have to have 19 inches this way from the center post and it has to start at 28. So there's rules for the wheelchair accessibility. ADA rules. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna make it comply with that. Sure, uh, that's awesome. But so, also it sounds like you were telling me earlier that it's really windy. So yeah, it is really windy. We're gonna add a rim to that so it's, so the plants won't blow off the edge. Right, so you gotta weld that together. Oh, and then we salvaged a, uh, salvaged, reclaimed uh, four inch galvanized pipe from yeah, yeah. your old. I, I don't know what it was used for. Yeah, I don't but think But we're gonna cut a section either. of that pipe and, and drill and tap it so we can, so we can uh, attach it to the base without welding again, because I don't, I don't know if I can weld on this too well. Big cast thing, yeah. Well, I won't get in your way. Yeah. It's, uh, but we get to share it with you guys. So come along with Steve while he builds this super unique table out of reclaimed materials for a local school. Yeah. Enjoy the montage. So here's the idea. Drilling half inch steel is really hard. Steve already broke these, which I'm not surprised. These are cheap Chinese carbide cutters. We're gonna try to- Still in there, you can see the two. <laughs> you can see. There she is. Yeah. So we're gonna try to program a hole in the plasma software to just start it on the, to just start it on the center. 
uh, which means dr drawing a hole off of the plate on the origin. So let's try that. Better than drilling. <laughs> One of these days, I'll buy a $20 wireless keyboard, finally. Drop it in the water. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the sparks raining off of Steve's face right there? My plasma towels. Thus concludes how to use a plasma cutter as a drill press. <laughs> Four all lined up. Nice. Yay. Yeah, it worked. Nice. The plasma drill press. One more little innovation. Nice. That machine is proving its worth over and over again. Still watching this video? Hang out with Steve while he finishes painting this thing. <clears throat> you just missed him drop something. Sorry. <laughs> Steve, what have you done here? I made a flower. Wow. A very large doggy flower that was turned upside down. Cool. So this is how people will see it? Well, this will be the base. This yeah, will be yeah. Under their feet. Those that aren't from Virginia, dogwood is our uh, state flower. So there you go. Quite appropriate. Springtime. Yeah. Garden. I'm, I'm totally happy with that. That looks beautiful. There's the holes we blew out with the plasma. Yeah, I'm gonna, That's oh, really I cool. To, I forgot to do these guys. Ah. I gotta do those little dudes in uh, green. Green. Then you're ready for assembly. Yeah, because they go right here. Almost there. I know. It's exciting. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I don't know. This whole, this shell looking thing. <laughs> I think it's cool though. I think it's great. That's rad. Super stable. Better than most like restaurant tables. <laughs> it's assembly time. <laughs> Fool me once. Ow, ow. Could not have fit better. <sighs> teeny weeny set screws. Filming it with a teeny weeny camera. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to stand back and this thing that's been in my head for three years now. There it is. The dogwood table. I love it. What a thing. I mean. Not many people smash a flower upside down. Yeah, it's like the table stomped on a flower. I know. I love it's it. like it did the uh, like Pixar lamp, yeah, right. jumping lamp. Just. Steve's been working on this cool table. Oh my God. Looks like a flower. And Anna hasn't seen it yet. Anna she's the, hasn't she, seen it yet. She's though. the one that does all the garden so, program oh at the gosh. school. She knows it's green, <laughs> but she doesn't know. Oh, wow. Dad! Oh. Oh, <laughs> Steve! <laughs> oh, and the kids can fit around That's it. Great. Oh, yay! <laughs> Mr. 
so Jocelyn is gonna love it for your uh, for your students. Oh. Yeah, and it's uh, biologically correct, right? It is. Yes, the calyx there has sepals and petals. <laughs> you can explain that to you. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, and we thought it was kind of a John Deere green. You know, I didn't really know that when I picked that one. But <laughs> Tay was like, it's real agriculture well, looking. For <laughs> sure. Like, yeah, real it agriculture looking. For okay. sure. That's and a John Deere oh, right there. And the kids, the stuff won't blow away. That and was it, the it main problem. It doesn't hold dirt. Water can go through it, and it's wheelchair accessible. Check, check, oh and check. That's great. <laughs> thank you. That's great. <laughs> thank so, you, Jay. I didn't do anything. I just okay. watched. Still, thank you, So Jay. it is modular, and you know you could pull it apart, but I think the easiest thing to do is just be to carry it pick it up we um it's already got a bug on it let me move the forklift over a little bit okay oh my goodness true it's heavier than i thought it would be <laughs> yeah. it won't blow over average plate yeah right. oh mr fitz please don't hurt yourself I'm just going to mostly guide <laughs> Oh, you can yeah. totally see the flower when it's up. Yeah. That yeah. is so awesome. Yeah, if you just strap it forward, you're just not going anywhere. Okay. Probably. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Let's go. How'd it ride? No, no movement that I could tell. Good. Look at this. This is a bigger uh, arrangement than I was picturing. We got a couple carrots. We got golden beets coming up right yeah. here. The irrigation still wasn't on. The students actually will come and help weed the beds and, and harvest the things once they're ready. And they come out here and you got to get your hands dirty and you got to like actually get involved. Some of them have never eaten a plant out of the garden before. Right. So they can get, they can just eat parsley and then and then they get to know it and then they get to like it and then they produce it and then they make a meal for the staff. So it's, it gets them really involved. You know? It's a great program. So I imagine it's going in this area? Going yeah. in the middle. It's going right here. How Deep. fantastic. Right in the middle. All right, out with the old. You had a big shoes to fill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those two tables have been uh, what we have taught on top of for what? Nine years now? Wow. <laughs> What am I eating? Sorrel. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a time delay. Isn't it wonderful? That's fantastic. Yeah, so that's the grazing bed and the kids wow. like love it. It's like actually got a good sour yeah, kick to it. Yeah, it's how you get kids to eat greens is you, you start with sorrel. <laughs> yeah. And you introduce it like that. Do yeah. you like Sour Patch Kids? They call it Sour Patch Leaf. Fit in as it is. It so. should. Oh my gosh. Yes, for those non-Virginia natives, that's our state flower, the dogwood. Uh, it's also our state as rendered by Steve. <laughs> yeah.